I started to really get into the music scene um, and listening to just all types of music through my father. He um, is just, he, he wasn't a musician, but he was always singing the Beach Boys to me and Van Morrison, and so I kind of grew up on Van Morrison and uh, the Everly Brothers and the Beach Boys and just really awesome, good songwriting, everything that you should be listening to, you know? Um, and it really kind of honed what I do, um, help me be a better singer. And I think that's why a lot of times people think I sound so old fashioned, because I listen to a lot of old singers. I, I love Roy Orbison and um, I also listen to a lot of Billie Holiday. So. Um, the first song that had a huge impact on me as a kid was actually Pretty Woman by <laughs> Roy Orbison. I thought that was just rad. And um, Sweet Thing by Van Morrison was another um, that just really blew my mind and um, I kind of just knew that that was real music for me and uh, I just was just in awe of both of their their songwriting abilities as well as their singing and just like there's so much soul and like Sweet Thing by Van Morrison is just it's so beautiful it just makes you weep every time you hear it and um, you know I always said not that I would ever get married but I thought if I ever did get married that would definitely be the song <laughs> I would listen to and uh, I just love him I just think even like I remember when I was a kid brown eyed girl you know all the time which I know is like a huge hit but it was like my song that my dad would sing to me and uh, it's still our song you know and um, it's like real honest authentic music does that to you it just stays with you forever and I feel like Van Morrison um, it's just one of those artists that you can grow with, um, you can grow up with, and it never gets old. You know, in, in 2011, I think we are so, we're just so caught up in all this electronic music and things that are programmed and auto-tune and this, and, and then there's no room for imperfections. And then, to me, the best type of music is when, you know, you hear even like an Otis Redding song, you know, like there's a little off keyness. To me, that's what makes really beautiful art. And and I, I try to do that with my music, um, where I have just all real instruments, no auto-tune. Um, and so when I make mistakes, it's because that's the emotional journey of the song. And uh, I think that I, I do wish sometimes that um, I was, you know, raised in the 1960s and I, I, you know, I would have been right up there with Joni Mitchell and, and hanging out and, because uh, there's not a lot of room for um, just real singing, real music anymore. And, and by real music, I mean everyone has a different definition of what that is, but to me, it's just having your heart on your sleeve and you can feel it with, e with every single stroke of playing, um, every note just the lyrics, everything, um, and there's just so much glitz and glam that go along, and you know, I I can't pretend that I don't get, um, I'm not a victim to that as well and, and become part of that scene, but it's nice to think of it, um, you know, of the 1960s and, and, and just realizing, wow, wouldn't that, wouldn't that just be nice, you know? Decades where, where the 50s and, the, well, the 40s, the 50s and the 60s were my, my where all my favorite music's from. Um, and you know, a little bit of the 90s. Um, wasn't really a big fan of the 70s and 80s as far as music's concerned. I, I really love, um, sometimes I think the most rock and roll is just like, I think Bob Dylan's rock and roll to me. Like, you know, like he's so, even when he's just playing his acoustic guitar, there's just something like rock and roll to me is just being real. Like, it's just real. And um, I don't think it needs all these loud guitars to be is I wouldn't say that I'm a you know a part of it because I, I write folk music but my spirit I feel like is part of the rock scene but I, I, I know a lot of people in you know where I grew up and they're they're definitely like rock and rollers like they sound like you know Led Zeppelin and I'm definitely not as cool as that you know <laughs> I could you know uh, I'm too busy you know crying in my room listening to Jewel or something so I 
I definitely feel like my spirit's there, and when I play, I'm, I bring my own little rock scene, you know, to the stage, which I can be very aggressive, and I'll be even provocative, even though I'll be playing to an acoustic guitar.